Okay, Dubin's with auto headland and auto turn. That's doing these guys. Now I have it set up with a three meter tillage for our European friends. And um, yeah, the old way doesn't work using patterns. Let me slow down a little. So if we make a turn, it definitely can't follow it even though it's 50 degrees. So those old pattern ideas don't work to turn around in one. But we now have Dubin's path and this uh, and how many skips we want to do. So if you select this, it blanks all these guys out, obviously. And how many skips we want to do. Along with that is the minimum turn radius that you want the vehicle to turn. Right now it's eight meters. Um, so we can adjust and play with that. So now when we do it, See, now it makes a uh, radius of 8 meter circle. And uh, it won't get smaller than that on a turn. Just cancel that. So if we make that, say, a 400 meter turn, then yeah, it'll just use a smaller circle. If we set it to, say, 4 skips, It'll still use that same size of circle as a minimum, except now instead of a keyhole type, type turn, it uses a curve, straight and a curve, to get over where it should be. So it works really well. Okay, so one thing I was playing with is um, being able to do multiple turns, always turn in the same direction. And so this will skip five times, then it'll skip three times. We'll just undo this. Whoops. Meep, meep. And then run it. Okay, so now when we make a turn, start making a path. Let's slow down a bit. So we make a turn. It'll skip five. And it'll skip three. Skip five. And skip three. Now you think you can see what it's going to do. I have no idea how to put this in GUI form yet. But you can see that it just constantly makes loops. And even though we have a short implement. There, see? It just fills in the last one. So it allows the maximum turning radius of the vehicle, even though you have a short implement or narrow implement. So in front of Andreas, I added all the uh, HDT stuff in there. Seems to be working good. Um, it's the same number as the VTG, vertical tracking good, and it doesn't seem to be a problem. I don't know why it won't work on your GPS. I just have it like this. All these guys turned off. And use VTG heading true instead.